Welcome, Consul General Brendan Malaki. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. What is the process for applying for a student visa to the U.S., and what are the necessary documents required for this? After a student receives admission to a university in the United States, that university is going to issue a Form I-20. If the student is applying for a J-1 exchange visitor visa, the student, the institution will issue a DS-2019. Mm-hmm. So once the I-20 or the DS-2019 has been issued, the student will go online. They will pay the visa application fee and the SEVIS fee. They then will complete the DS-160 visa application form online and schedule an appointment. On the day of the interview, the student will needs to prepare. They need to bring certain documents to the interview. So what they are going to bring to the interview is the form I-20 or DS-2019. Mm-hmm. They're going to bring copies of the fee receipts. They are going to bring the confirmation page from the completed DS-160 visa application. They are going to bring a valid photo. And last but certainly not least, they are going to bring their passport. And so those are the basic steps of the process to apply. There is a lot of wait time for visas. Is it true for all categories? First, I'm very pleased to say no. Uh, We've been able to eliminate the wait times in all of our priority visa categories. We have uh, one remaining category, and that's for first-time B1, B2 visa applicants that has a higher wait time. We have made great progress in addressing that wait time since the start of the year. We've reduced the wait time for the B1, B2 category by more than 50%, and we are prepared to devote the resources necessary to continue to bring that wait time down. As for students, students are one of our highest priority visa appointment categories. And so to address that intense demand for student visas, we are significantly increasing the number of student visa appointments that are available in 2023 over last year, even over last year's record-breaking season. So why do student visas get rejected and uh, how can one avoid this? Under U.S. law, the burden is on the applicant to demonstrate during the interview that they're eligible and entitled for a visa. So it's very important that the student use the time during the interview to be able to very clearly articulate why they chose the university that they chose, and that reason is different for every student, and they need to be able to clearly articulate how they intend to pay for their studies. So what the student should avoid is, again, reciting a set of facts that they may be memorized from the website or trying to deliver some prepared script. That's not what the officer will want to see. The officer wants to have a candid conversation in which the applicant speaks freely about why they chose the school and how they're going to pay for it. So does the student visa allow students to take up jobs while in the U.S.? Can you tell us in details about optional practical training OPT? Yes. My best advice for students that are interested in student employment while they're in the U.S. studying is to really coordinate closely with designated school officials and school administrators at their university. There are opportunities for students to work and to gain practical knowledge for their studies, but there are certain regulations and restrictions. So it's very important that they are coordinating closely with school authorities to make sure that the employment that they're taking up is in line with the with the regulations and the requirements. Um, otherwise, if they don't have specific permission to work, they will be working unlawfully, and that can jeopardize their student status and their future prospects for employment in the United States if they so choose that. So where can students find credible information about studying in the United States? Probably the best resource for students is the U.S. India Educational Foundation. USIF has eight centers across India with advisors that are available and the resources 
to link up prospective students interested in studying in the United States with an appropriate educational institution. They also, USIF provides online educational counseling services. And finally, I would encourage all prospective students to download the mobile app, the Education USA mobile app, which has all sorts of useful information for students interested in going to the United States. Right, sir. What are the measures in place at the embassy and the consulates to address the growing number of students applying for visa? Let me walk back a little bit. Coming out of the pandemic, our staffing was severely reduced. So gradually over time, we have increased the size of our staff. We've been able to bring on um, new staff to enhance our capacity to address visa demand across the board in all categories. Students continue to be a priority for us. So we are committed to devoting all of the resources necessary to ensure that a student interested in studying in the United States will have the opportunity to interview for that visa. We've also expanded the criteria in expanding the categories of students that may be eligible to have an interview waiver. And so we're constantly looking at ways in which we can increase access to student visa appointments. And we're excited that student demand is what it is here in India. And we're doing everything we can to make sure that we have interviews available for all students interested in studying in the United States. Would you advise students to go through agents or education consultants for visa slots? No, I do not recommend that. What I will say is that students have the same access to obtain appointments as an agent does. So in a few weeks, we will be releasing another very large tranche of student appointments for the July-August time period. And I am fully confident that once those appointments are released, that all students interested in applying for a visa to the U.S., will be able to obtain an appointment. So no, it's not necessary to use an agent to get a student visa appointment. A record number of student visas were issued last year. Do you expect to open additional slots this summer? That's right. In 2022, we issued more than 125,000 student visas, which was the highest in our history and also the highest of any country in the world. So for 2023, to meet the increased demand for student visas, we are going to make significantly more appointments available than we did last year, which was a record-breaking year. Is there anything a student must avoid doing or saying at the visa interview? Yes, this is very important. Students need to avoid exaggerating their qualifications or making false statements. Every visa applicant, including students, are responsible for all of the information that they present on their application, and they're responsible for all of the information that they present during the course of their interview. So the bottom line on this is students be honest and be candid right. and speak freely about your intentions. Thank you very much, Consul General. Thank you very much for this opportunity. It was great to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you.